Hi everyone, hope you're well. Coins Kid here. Hope you had a good day. A uh, bit of a bloodbath yesterday, but you know what? VeChain, absolute solid. This is one of the few projects that's actually just bounced off the 20 MA. There's not many projects that are actually collapsed on on themselves. Uh, the word collapse sounds quite bad. Corrected, okay. Which I did say to you, it did need that correction. And look exactly where it fell back to, okay. It did fall back because it was a rising wedge. Uh, yesterday I did say that potentially it's forming a rising wedge, and I give you the fall back target, and it did actually fall back there. So. I've not got crystal ball, but sometimes, you know, these patterns, they play out. So that, that in effect, was a correction down to that target there, wasn't it, where the reforming product... So that was a lucky 11% short trade right there. Personally, I didn't take that on because I was so busy, I didn't even look at that trade. I, I, I made a video about it, and I didn't even look at it. I didn't execute it because I was so busy, obviously, on the other bit videos and, and, and all, all other stuff. So I missed out on that one, unfortunately. But anyway, it's, it's looking good. It's looking strong, okay? It's looking golden. The fact that it's bounced, come back down, it's bounced bounced off the yellow line there which is the 20 EMA on the four hourly time frame there and it's got just confirmation that you know we're full bull mode here you're not stopping us but what you do want to see is not necessarily these sort of rising wedge patterns okay as it marches back on and up like I said to you so you want to see it in waveforms like that so it goes over rolls over goes up rolls over goes up rolls over and it's beautiful okay when you start forming these sort of patterns here where you, you you're you going up and you're getting tighter and tighter and tighter just like you did there you're going up getting tighter and tighter roll over and you come back to where you started from so it's like going up a hill and rolling back down it you don't want to do that so at the moment you, you are moving on okay you are moving on you've got this test net here off this 20 ma and it looks good so what we can do we can actually target a, a future price prediction now because this is what i wanted to see like yesterday it was it's difficult for me to give you price prediction going forward because this was painting a structure in which you can't uh, give a future price prediction if you know what i mean i could have gave you one but it would have been backed by nothing basically so you know that all our future price predictions we met our targets out of this ascending triangle uh, and then the other targets that we had off the Fibonacci retracement off the, the extension there so that's basically what you do again okay because this was such a good trade because this was such a strong trend that it actually went up formed a high and bounced off this 20 EMA you can actually use the zero at uh, the 1618 Fibonacci extension here okay so it's the third column down okay the little arrow your Fib retracement which I've taught you about and what you do you go from the bottom which was just there that wick and what you do you drag it to the top there okay because that was the, the local high at the moment which is the all-time high for VeChain so at the moment you can see what it's done it, it made a high okay and it's come back down it's it's hit a bottom it's formed a base and now what it's doing is it's actually retracing this is called retracing okay so it's retracing to its previous high and you can see it's making fantastic progress you can see really it didn't it didn't hang around the zero five for too much it had one sort of little wick there you can see that that sort of when it went down there and it had that indecisive wick and it's body of the candles in the middle there and a little bounce off and it's it's moved up and it, it did it its head on the zero five but the next go absolutely marched through it like a hot knife through butter get out of the way i'm coming through sort of thing and now it's absolutely smashed through the 0618 and look what it's doing right now it's gone up and it's back testing it as support so it's golden this is called the golden ratio okay when you start to retrace and you push through that you're golden to get to the to the full retracement and the fibonacci extension so what we need to do here because that's a conservative extension if you've broken down and fallen through the ema so what i need to do is just edit that to drop the 1618 in there okay so you you click on that and then you go to your cog and what you do that's the 141 okay drop that out i'm going to put the 1618 in simple as that so you're effectively looking at a new impulsive way for for v chain okay to get through these levels here get through this high okay roll up and that is potentially your price target not an not not an exact um, sort of thing that's going to happen as well. Nothing I say should be taken as financial advice and nothing I say is exactly going to happen. Please do remember that, okay? Because what you may come up against here is what we've already come up against over here, where you you, you, you made, the, you made the, the falling wedge, okay? You went up, you made the high. You came back down and you fell back into where you made the, the wedge. And what you did, you went back up, started to retrace, started to look golden, okay, for that new high that we were targeting after Fibonacci extension. But then you hit your head on the previous high, you rolled over and you formed something called a double top and it started to look quite bearish. Do you remember that? And we had that support line, which we told you about. And if you were to lose that, you would look at a further correction. But then VeChain got propped up, really strong trend, and then carried on and it was above DMA. So we've already gone through all that. So you always have to be aware that you can repeat these patterns, okay? Because effectively what you've got, you've gone up, made the rising wedge, fell back, gone up, made the rising wedge, fell back. So... It, this is what I'm saying about you wait for confirmation that you've broke this high. If you break this high, okay, which is currently at uh, one two, 
at 0 0.12 cents, okay, roughly around that sort of area, that high, okay, all time high. If you get through that and back test of support and start to get a bit of an upside, then yeah, you're looking golden for that all time high there for that march on. So yeah, that's how you target these using the Fibonacci extension. You can see it's just popping under the 0 0.618 at the moment, so something's happening. But again, just you you can this is this is the whole point of this thing okay nothing's set in stone and nothing is set for the future this can easily break down okay but you are back testing levels of support which is the 20 ema which is golden okay but what you don't want to start forming here is this double top so you're going up you're forming that top and then you're forming this lower top it's effectively running out of steam okay and then what potentially you start to do is start to lose support fall through the emas not saying it will happen okay because then what you're doing you're forming a support line just there okay and when you lose that support line you have a breakdown target of something like that okay so so effectively if if v chain by the time i've recorded this and tomorrow we we'll come back to it has actually broke down again and it's lost this key level of support which is roughly this sort of area here which is uh, you can't really see that which is 10 cents 010392 if it's lost that and closed below it you would be looking at a further correction there for vchain and like i said to you i'm always going to be transparent in the channel with you i'm not going to lie to you i'm not going to keep telling it's going to mars when potentially you know it could break down as well so these are the key levels now that i'm giving you to keep an eye on okay if you was to see it start closing below 010392 you would see a further correction off this double M top pattern, which is effectively a reversal pattern because it goes up, it makes a high, comes back down, fails to make a higher high, runs out of steam and rolls over. And it has a correction point, okay, which we target in the channel. And that effectively will bring you back down below this uh, ascending triangle that we was in, which was a bullish continuation pattern. So you may see a little bit of a correction there. And I would expect this particular level there to act as a really strong level of support. So we'll drop that in for you as well, just so you know, so you can keep an eye. If it was to correct and fall below this retracement here, this bottom, and form an, a secondary bottom, then that would be a really, really strong level of support right there. But you would have that target down there if it was to continue to bleed, okay? I'm not saying it will, but you've always got to have everything in mind. At the minute, you're looking good, okay? You are you have sort of got through this 0618. At the moment, that candle, 9 o'clock, so you've got, uh, what time is it? Yeah, so you've got three hours, basically. Three hours before that closes. So, you know, that, that could close above. You do need it to close above a 0618, okay, to, to show its continuation and to march on and, and take out that high. So that's V-Chain. Stay strong, stay safe. Good luck to all those who are involved. But what what I really do like about V-Chain, I, I will be honest with you, I like the fact that it was up. It, we did speak yesterday, so it was up here. It's a bit overextended. You, potentially, if it carries on, you're looking at a... a, a, a um, a rising wedge and a breakdown target well that target was met and uh but what it did it actually come back down and tested this 20 ema and i always say to you in full transparency i always say to you you want to see that okay just like you did down here just like you did down here you want to you want to see it coming down to that ema okay not getting overextended come down come down it's beautiful that's what you want to see in in, in your uptrends okay you don't want to see them them doing this Okay, doing that and the EMAs are like down here because that you buying in there is a massive, massive rollover, huge correction. What V Chain has done there is shown how strong it is, okay, and how bullish it actually is. This is really, really good, really healthy, okay. Good luck everyone. I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye bye.